Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you could attach physical storage from your host to a virtual machine in Hyper-V Desktop. So this is the version that you could use on Windows 10 and 11. Uh, comes built into the professional versions and you can actually configure Hyper-V to run on Windows Home Editions. We did a video on that which I'll put a link in the description for. Okay, so what we're going to do is we have the host computer here, multiple drives on it here. So you can do this with a hard drive, but I'm going to do it with a flash drive just for the sake of time because it takes a while to actually attach the storage and this is only 16 gigs. So on the 16 gig flash drive, I have a couple folders, a couple files here, you know, a bunch of pictures in there. So now we're going to go to the host and we're going to go to new hard disk. So this is the same process as if you were making a regular virtual hard disk. So we'll use a VHDX, because that's the recommended type for Hyper-V. So this doesn't matter because it's attaching the whole 16 gigs, so it's not going to be dynamically expanding, even if you pick this. And I'll show you that in a minute here. Okay, let's call this uh, 16 gigabyte flash. And we'll store it in our default Hyper-V location here that I have configured. All right, so now here is where you would do a virtual hard disk, but we're going to copy the contents of a specified virtual disk. So this is not technically attaching the disk, but rather copying its contents to a new virtual disk. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute, because we'll be able to remove this flash drive and still keep this intact. So you, the catch here is to make sure you pick the right one. So I could tell this is my 16 gig drive. It's reading it as 14. So I know that's it. And you could do the same thing with the virtual disk. If you have another one, copy it to another virtual disk. All right, so we're gonna click on next. Okay, here's our summary. Dynamically expanding, like I said, doesn't matter. 16 gigabyte flash is the name of our file. Here's where it's putting it. And copying drive, physical drive three. So we'll click on finish. So this process will take a few minutes, so I will pause the video and then we'll be back. Okay, so the process is complete. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so here is the flash drive attached to the computer. Let's see how big it is. So it's only using 240 megabytes, total space 14.9, 15 gigs, even though it's a 16 gig drive. And so here is the new virtual drive we made based on that flash drive. And you can see here, if we go to the properties, it's using up the entire 14.9 gigabytes, even though it's technically not full. So making it a dynamic disk didn't help us out in this situation. Okay, so now we're going to attach this drive to our virtual machine here. So go to the SCSI controller, click on hard drive, add a new drive here, browse to it. Okay, here's the 16 gig drive. Okay, let's go into the operating system here. Okay, so it popped up right away and you could see it even gave it the same name, SanDisk16, which I had on the host computer. And it has the same files here. And you could see right there it says 14.6 free out of 14.9. So within the operating system of the virtual machine, it's not reading it as full like it did for the uh, file itself here. So let's go back in here. All right, so let's try adding a new file here. Text document. Okay. So now, if I go back here, refresh, you can see that text document is not here. And if I make a new file here, go back here, refresh, you can see it's not making it here. So as you can see, it actually copied the contents of that drive to a virtual disk file and then we attach it to the computer, but it's not actually reading the flash drive itself, if that makes sense. So this is a good way to quickly copy the contents of a physical drive from your host to a virtual machine. All right, so if I go back to the host here and pull out the flash drive, go back here, you can see the flash drive is gone. If I refresh here, or go to this PC, you can see it's still here. And if I go to my Hyper-V VMs folder here with my data, you can see it's still here as well. All right, so once again, 
go to new hard disk pick your format here don't worry about this dynamics fine you can just choose fixed as well if you want give it a name we'll just do test for a second here pick your physical drive contents so I pulled out that flash drive so it's not here anymore but I do have my other drives All right then you just come here pick the drive that you want to use you can see my flash drive is gone, but I still have my other hard drives in here that are still mounted on the computer. So once you do that, it'll copy the contents to a new virtual disk file that you could store on your host. And then you don't have to worry about it actually using the original physical drive on your computer. So once again, it's not really attaching it as a drive. It's actually copying the contents to a new virtual drive. So hopefully that makes sense. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.